And finally, on another retirement announced just this afternoon, let me close by honoring another great friend, a beloved, a truly beloved member of our Senate, our dear colleague, Ben Cardin of Maryland, who announced earlier today that he'll retire at the end of this term. He is one of my dearest friends in the Senate and has been for a very long time, and someone I've always admired for favoring substance over flash, for digging deeply into issues, and for his ability time and time again to persuade his colleagues of the justice of his causes, often working across the aisle to turn his ideas into successful legislation. In Senator Cardin, the people of Maryland have been gifted with the consummate public servant, a consummate public servant. Doesn't that describe Ben so well? Whether rep representing Marylanders in the State House of Delegates or in the Congress or in the Senate, Ben's North Star has never changed. It's the people he serves, the communities he knows well, and the country he so dearly loves. And whether in foreign or domestic issues, he put the issues first, the politics second, and doing so, and in doing so, won the respect of every corner of this chamber. As chair of the small Senate Business Committee, he spent years fighting for Main Street and been a tireless advocate for job creators and entrepreneurs, especially those who don't always have a seat at the table. And during COVID, Senator Cardin's leadership and expertise were absolutely essential as we passed legislation to protect family restaurants, local shop owners, independent businesses, there are tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of small businesses that are in existence now that wouldn't have been had Ben not fought so hard for them. So in conclusion, I wish Ben and Myrna the very best on their road ahead. I have no doubt they will find new ways to serve the state of Maryland and moving forward, and we will remain friends forever. I yield the floor.